Yo, what's good? Don't flop all fucking day, month, weekend, year, century, whatever you want to say. Last time, 6.5 birthday, wardrobe, Lee City, make some noise, let's go! Shouts out, Shuffle T, having one too many shandies. Shouts out to two battlers. Shouts out to every single MC that's clashed this weekend. Yo, Dialect and Blam just had a fucking dope on beat battle. Shouts to everybody else that did that shit. Shouts to Zen and Brucey on the grind clash. Everybody on the acapella shit has been fucking dope. All right, make sure you log on to our viewpoint on Facebook. Don'tflop.com, don'tflopshop.com. You know the deal. This is the main event of the entire weekend. This is our warm-up event coming up to the April Fool's event we're going to have here in April this year. All right, cool. Enough of that. Last two MCs I'm introducing for the weekend. MC on my right hand side, the current, well, half of the current two on two tag chat. Make some fucking noise for Marley! Not only am I whipping that yoga, I'm mixing it with so soda. Skrrr. Skrrr! Yellow tap! Skrrr! Red and yellow tap! Uh, make sure you follow both the MCs on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow all the staff as well. That was Marlo on the right hand side and on the left hand side. Uh, last appeared of Blood in the Water 5 uh, Seuss from Toronto, Canada. Make some fucking noise. Tricky P! That performance versus Suze is one of the staff's favourite Don't Flop performances ever, so shout out to Tricky P. Alright, cool. You're going first, yeah? Alright, final battle, main event, Tricky versus Marlo. It's on Marlo, let's go. Let's go. Oh. They've only bloody gone and gone Marlo back in the solo, Ray. Right? How fantastic is this? Mum's away. And drunk. <laughs> it's just Dad and the kids! <laughs> and this is truly the most exciting of times. Remember Tricky P? <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Thank you, Don't Flop. This is quite a surprise! <laughs> His last good performance was about five years ago, so some of you might have been nine. <laughs> but nevertheless, you'll never meet a more intense guy in your life. Witness says he'll concentrate and widen his eyes, then do the tennis fan skank, left side to the right, but that performance is a mask that he's hiding behind, because lately his career's been in a spiral decline. It's years between his battles now. The last five have been shy. I think it finally might be retiring time. He just lacks the basic aspect to retire. Some pride. For remember when he actually remember when he actually did the first ever compliments battle and not shuffle tea and Marlo? Yeah, neither do I. <laughs> Tricky's rap career is no longer showtime, it's curtains. Battle rap's moved on and left this low life deserted. Spends his nights out thinking this hoe might be flirting. So she says to him, Patrick, what's Sharon like in person? <laughs> <laughs> He's been away a while. So where's Tricky been focusing all his energy? Running? Squash? Did he join a tennis team? Ha. He's been saving the forests up in the northern evergreens, planting seeds so they'll grow from the soil eventually. Sounds boring, but he clearly made a store of memories. Didn't take into account all of the awesome friends he'd meet. He put a group pic up on Facebook. There was Rory, Kenny, Steve, Paul and Genevieve. Only real issue is that all of them are trees. <laughs> And he got caught possessing weed. Sorry, he got caught possessing three sorts of redwood seeds. You spend your nights camped out between a mossy log and a soggy rock. You have a crown made out of ferns and call yourself the forest god. Yo. You spend your nights camped out between a mossy log and a soggy rock. You have a crown made out of ferns and call yourself the forest god. One half of this room's thinking, why doesn't he get a proper job? The rest just want to be the one to introduce him to Ogmios. Yes. <laughs> but I gotta rate this tricky guy. Because we were proper mates within a night. Remember Patrick? Those friendly antics? When we hopped on Facebook killing time and found a common hate for clip-on mics? I've never had a more riveting conversation in my life. It was just after his cheddar cheese battle. He was like, Eeeh! My mic kept fucking up! The acoustics against cheddar were poor! I just had this image of two sound engineers laughing at the back like, What prick? Fuck around with the treble some more! <laughs> So if he seems nervous today, like he wants to head for the door, he's only shaky because of the sound, like a festival floor, and look. Yay! I'm not trying to tempt fate, 
I just hope this was a good enough microphone test, mate. Soon as this venue confirmed, he called her and fucking hired a jet plane, like, we need time to check the acoustics, I'll fly out on Wednesday. <laughs> See, I'm about to come through and smash shit up in Leeds and ruin your week. You might not think I'll succeed. You'll say I can't do shit if I'm not with Shuffle T, but I've got two of you in my shirt. Shuffle tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, go away! Sure do know a lot about me. <laughs> it's kind of creepy and weird. <laughs> but I guess as long as both of us are being sincere. You don't look so good, man. Are you dying? What happened? Is that London rent climbing? You find you're just famished? What's the last thing you did eat a Dallas Buyers Club sandwich? These <laughs> people care about you, bro. They're worried you're fading quick, but you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a difference. We're gonna get them straightened out. Cure him that ache and sickness. Get that powder out of his nose. We're gonna get his girl to start baking with it. <laughs> Hell of work for unanimous. <laughs> I sure am a fan of his. <laughs> but ever since he lost, can, can I get a turn to be champion? <laughs> no? But well, moving along, who here has seen the trailers for that new movie, Mordecai? Oh, here's an idea. Imagine that sort of guy decides to become a rapper. He trades his teacup for a mic. And wait, this isn't funny at all. It's actually just really corny, right? <laughs> Marlo? He's watching your battles, it's like taking self-portraits. There is some small part of me that enjoys it, and I hate myself for it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Your style? One of the shittiest things to ever even exist. Fucking Book of Leviticus. Here's how you write, right? Well, what can I get in with? I've got to make fun of the littlest insignificant thing and say it like it's something insidious. <laughs> well, wouldn't it be positively lovely to trick him with a long-winded story where I meet up with this chick and tell everyone and make them think that I'm gonna be hitting and then go, what? Are you kidding, kids? Me cheat on my girlfriend? What? That's ridiculous! <laughs> yes, and then I'll say something sarcastic! Shut up, you idiot! For anything you've done that takes a smudge in a wittiness! I am being an insufferable hypocrite. That's all stuff I used to do! Hey, what a fucking coincidence! <laughs> so you like my nice guy approach? Well, I'm guessing that, uh, floral scent that's emanating from you is from you resting on my laurels. Hey, shuffle, let's do a shuffle, see exactly what he bore on. It would seem our friend Marlowe's gonna jack all of my morals. Whoa! That has gotta be fate. I'm like totally sure. This is crazier than when Tom Riddle changed his name into Voldemort. <laughs> Whatever's making you transform, something evil. He's not healthy. His Polish girlfriend's like, I feel like I can't help him just a year ago. I thought that he looked like Tom Felton. <laughs> Yeah, okay, just to see that. Glad you wear the hat. I didn't want to make fun of you for being bald. Cause I don't think the ladies understand just what a shitty deal it is. No, you would hate to be a man. It's tragic, just picture this. Imagine you really fit, perfect ass and the biggest tits. Then one day you wake up and they're just sagging and hideous Ooh, shit. That is actually what happens now, isn't it? <laughs> okay, one more try. Let me put it this way. Girls think I'm a cutie. I get booty these days. If I was bald, I would literally look like Louis C.K. <laughs> On every date, his girl tells him, you need to pay. <laughs> you think that you change your name to Bruce Wayne, cause he stay pussy whipped, and you should see the dude Kane. Mm. Yeah, that was fucking clever. <laughs> Y'all know, my... know my favorite thing to do in the UK? More Harry Potter bars. I'm a nasty cunt. I got your girl moaning like Myrtle in the bathroom, son. She had, she had me a package in her mouth. That's a parcel tongue. I don't care what a feminist your little heroine says she is. She still ain't ever able to resist getting the dick from me. Shit, I'd have that girl who plays Hermione getting turned up worse than Wiley Turk twerked and turned to read my shirt like fuck. Witches get money. I love it. That's funny. <laughs> now listen here, Sonny. Think of the first guy to make your bars bad on purpose. Back before you'd even thought of crafting a verse, I was in London getting love in front of Bagnall and Worthless, calling myself a diarrhea-breathing dragon. That's just scratching Yay! the surface. <laughs> you want a bad bar battle? Here's your bad bar battle. You're looking a little sheepish. It's a bad bar battle. <laughs> Marlo, cause I'll throw bad bars at you so fast you'll think I whipped it out and bad bars smacked you. 
elephant penis. Dip your bitch from across the room, no telekinesis. <laughs> Can you tell I'm a genius? Well, I am, you're just a nerd. In fact, to be fucking sure, I'm sorry, rapping in another word, lest it's relevant to my thesis. Here's something I will say. You and Shuffle are real gay! <laughs> but you don't even know how much blood that they spill. Buckets, no fuck it, they don't cut it. It's nothing you can fill the stage. So when I say these two men straight, trust me, they're still gay. <laughs> <laughs> You're a clown, so I'm a clown. It's my main motivation. Flew here to give this kid the business. No play corporation. TKO briefcase closed and straight home. It's waiting. So make no mistake, bitch. This ain't no vacation. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go, Milo. In your last battle, all, all of a sudden, you announced that you were changing your name. Like, Tricky P, please. I'm not actually that mug. My name is Trick Stevens now. Oh yeah, glad to see that stuck. <laughs> I guess Cheddar, the stuff you wrote at the end was a fucking joke. He was like, there's no more Tricky P. He's left to another home, so y'all can call me Trick Stevens. My record is one and oh. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> Mate. Your battling record doesn't change if you randomly set up another name. <laughs> you, should, you should put that rule out there. My home FIFA endorsed. Imagine that in next year's Euros when our team's getting slaughtered. It's half time and Hart's crying because he's letting fall. So Roy picks up the phone and gives the lead ref a call like, yeah, we've actually changed our name to the three headed dwarf. So reset the score. <laughs> Stevens is so gay it hurts. Tricky P was bad enough. You have to go make it worse. <laughs> and, and why did you change your name in a battle? I was like, what is the meaning of this? We could discover it's actually a slogan. He's repeating the bit. Gets to the end of his third today and he can't even resist. Like, I've changed it again. Call me Stevie McTrix. <laughs> That's a good name. It's good. <laughs> You're right about one thing though. The old Tricky was dead. You brought back the guy we hadn't missed. I mean, he still battled with a swab that mimicked an asthma fit, but your angles? Shit. You played it like the rabbit in the hat, vanishing then coming back to this, but if you can't pledge to turn up with a prestigious performance, it just means you've lost the magic trick. Ah! Ah! And stop claiming you make it look effortless when your style is on some jagged shit. You're just poking some fun in jest. Yeah, but loads of the stuff you've prepped, it's like for over a month you've stressed yourself out when you've been planning it. Now, I realise this is coming from me. <laughs> so you could say, well, that is rich, because Marlo looks like he needs crack to sniff just to stand and spit, but you look like you're trying to have a shit and need a laxative. Relax a bit. It's bantering. You'll lose your head trying to have the kid like Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Gotta put, it in gotta put it in Canadian slang for him. I'm the funniest friend, Chandler Bing. <laughs> I'm one of only two motherfuckers in battling that can get away with clashing with a can of drink and a stick. And you, you're the kind of guy that in 2015 has the rap name Trick. <laughs> this guy, yo, has the rap name Trick. But yo, of course we all know it ain't a tricky bar unless you stick to a beat and keep your spitting in key just like you're singing with E. I bet when people fuck up a rhythm it makes you sick to your teeth and someone might just start this last line with intention to drag it out loads completely ruin the meter. <laughs> I'm not even fucking rhyming. No, there we go. <laughs> it ain't a tricky bar unless you stick to a beat and keep your spitting in key just like you're singing with E. I bet when people fuck up a rhythm makes you stick to your teeth and so I might just start this last bar with intention to drag it out loads completely ruin the meter and not even fucking rhyme it. <laughs> Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. I'm bringing up dumb shit I did forever ago. <laughs> Clearly your favorite tactic, dude. You know what's funny? All my ex-girlfriends, amazing at it too. 
<laughs> All right, I think it is high time that I address the flyer. You use my old name, but this time I'll let it fly, er. <laughs> Fuck it, if you really want. You guys can call me Tricky P, that's fine, I'm still a different breed. Giant to these little creatures, dying to survive, but it's survival of the fittest piece. These lines that I be spitting, please, are tighter than a sister's weave. <laughs> but you don't even know what that is. No, you don't know what that is. You can get it, oh, you got it? Okay, so what he did? <laughs> I still know that you dig my cool new name. Yeah, Trick Stevens. He's got that porn star ring. <laughs> One step from Dick Siemens. One step from brick heaving, chick leaving, thick he man. I thought you'd understand it, damn it, man. We're the same. Both just trying to bring glory to our family names. Except this little traitor dropped the last two letters off his last name to fit in with the rat dudes better. What, didn't you know? Marlo just looks harder when it ends with an O. <laughs> this old man. Sure ain't letting it go. He's like, Theodore, what was wrong with Marlo ending W than E? I mean, I thought that we were on the same team. That's right, Marlo's dad has terrible wordplay, too. <laughs> like father, like son, it's had a bird brain stool, but my dad's shit. Wordplay guru, he was dropping slow it downs on my first birthday, dude. He was like, Honey, I'm about to make these kids turn up and not with how I bake, cause when I sing really sweet, well, I'm not talking about the cake. Want to see some magic? Watch here close. Where'd that part of your face go? Mmm, God sure knows. <laughs> God sure knows. <laughs> oh, bring honor to my family. You ain't a good son. He wished his mom happy birthday while he was taking a dump. <laughs> you know all that it really takes to make her feel loved? Penis. No, I was happy to share. She hadn't had it in years. It was clear your dad didn't care, but son, I got your mama laid like Paddington Bear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Fans want to hear something that I wasn't supposed to rap out? You know how Shuffle's flying solo at the blackout? Marlo's going to, it's another fucking two on two. Hey, whoop de doo, who gives a crap? Yo, here's the bag, I let the cat out. <laughs> but you couldn't let your homie get some shine of his own? Terrified that he'll fly over there, rise to the throne, become the king of the vaginas while you're crying at home? I'm tired of both of them. This guy's a muff. Shuffle, shuffle, tee up. He's providing a fluff. Any girl saying their hands are just ain't item enough. Come on, they look like Topher Grace and Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> Couple of hack over actors. He's Macbeth, I guess you're Hamlet. And where'd you get your mannerisms and your swagger? Kenneth Branagh? Cause your voice keeps on hitting this comically high pitch Like it's been all of your life, but your balls in a vice grip <laughs> Saw your latest battle, you thought it was quite rich The way you swapped your old bars Quality line shit, quality line shit But you still got outshine Yo, you should call it a night, bitch That didn't come out exactly how I wanted to let <laughs> you You can act like it don't matter But I know that hurts my dude It's a fact, sir that I'm a better actor than you. <laughs> Double trouble, boil and bubble. Once we're born, two brothers royal. One with godly gifts of thought, the other not. A sort of foil for the other to shine off. So when one's called him to fly across the other sea, across the sea, the other's fraught with jealous thoughts. He stops, storms and broils. Then he insists he comes along. Of course he toiled far too hard to let his partner just run off and hoard the spoils. But this oracle of prophecy is not to be ignored. It was foretold to warn you, boy, you over let your overconfidence destroy you. It's one more shot to bump his spot. But once you bomb on foreign soil, you watch shuffle, shuffle off, and shuffle off his mortal coil. Oh, yeah, shake this shit. Shake this shit. Yeah, 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 I got more. That you were smarter than me? You're not smarter than me. You wouldn't be smarter than me with a fucking Harvard degree and an honorary doctorate. Your father bought you from the arts department at Leeds. You ain't my dog, Marlo. Quit barking at me. You ain't a log, Marlo. Quit barking at me. <laughs> yeah, I made the stupid style. You could say it's juvenile, but without it, I wonder where Shuffle and Marlo would be. Probably shopping their sloppy comedy to a marketing team like, well, we right. One sketch per year, how should we mark the release? <laughs> and it's hard to believe these con artists that think they can keep on marching to the margins of the Garden of Eden, not even acknowledging the knowledge that they garnered from me. Like what? I wasn't gonna recognize the mark of the beast? Your real name's Adam, right? Then I'm starting with Eve. So easy to harness your inner darkness, target your weakness, turn your flies to a collage for every bite you see when he split apart in the seams. He gon' feel like Adam ripping out a rip, cause after this, I'll have him living with his little bitch ass hard on his sleeve. 
whoop, whoop, that's the sound of the karma police. It's not your rockin' man, yours, it's not hard to see. If you ain't got it from me, you got it from Carter Deems. <laughs> You've been out of the battle rap loop for so long now, you didn't even know your place. He thinks Alki David's a bloke called Dave who it's hard to be around in a social way. <laughs> He's so jealous of other battlers now. No more names, just control your hay, cause that's Sharon for May. <laughs> cause Patrick, cause Patrick, now there's nobody as awkward as you. Your last battle, your mic was destroyed, it's true, but when you put in a performance as awful and truly disappointing as you did, that's a boring excuse. I'd say eat shit and go and gorge on some poo, but you're right. At one point against Seuss, you said that you breathe diarrhea. So apparently you already do. <laughs> and for the record, I am way better at compliments than you. Shit, you couldn't compliment a snack with a condiment to add. So we would never have a compliments match, you stupid bastard. Because I'm in classics, like Judy Garland's beauty parlor. If I'm an actor when I'm battling and rap like I was doing drama, then you're not one-eyed supporting character like Futurama. Jeez! Because you, you used to be the boss, Patrick Stevens, and I'm that fella that nicked your job. Gareth Keenan. <laughs> Gareth Keenan, you should have stayed in the wilderness. You're only back to treat your cabin fever, and now they're finding cancer treatments at an even more rapid frequency than Patrick Stevens has been seen clashing people since that Chris Lee's thing. And I have a feeling as of recent you've had to speed to catch up the reading, so when this match was teasing, you suddenly followed everyone in the battle scene like Adam Deacon. <laughs> Yo, Paddy! You wanted to keep the job you liked and thought you would blow with a couple sets, but staying locked on the scene insults your pride, because you're getting slow and your stuff is stretched. Your content is weak, no body's hyped, you perform and then hope for the fucking best. Your battle career's like my hair. The longer you keep it on the side, the more it'll show you've got nothing left. <laughs> Sharon got famous from battling and you didn't isn't hard trick. It isn't because you didn't stick with it when he grasped it. It's because you're shitter and you can't flip. Remember, remember Tricky when he started? You were the pinnacle of our kid. White and nerdy rapper with a gift to get him laughing. The funny kid at school. Kept the lyrics that he drafted hidden in the armpit. He always did a little fart with in the middle of our classes. The popular guy. Guess that image never lasted. And that's fine. Except now you can't seem to finish what you've started. You ripped your shelf life label off and scribbled it with dark ink. Indicative really of the idiot you are, Trick. A washed up magician persisting with a card trick. And look, I realise you've been being dealt the shittiest of cards, Trick, lately. And so maybe you're back because you listen to your heart tick. I'm thinking it's catharsis. On the other hand, I'm thinking there's a part in a little bit of our trick that thinks he'll make a comeback. Considered as a star pick. But you should have listened to your head. Kept a distance from the shark pit because you aren't fit to come back and think you're still a large fish. But you'll always be remembered for that one clip from which you are big. So after this, I'll make sure your obituary starts with This was the guy who got four million and a half hits. As that Charlie bit my finger looking ginger motherfucker that's standing at the front during Blizzard vs. Mark Grist. <laughs> and one more thing. It's a pee. How tricky could it really be? <laughs> you draw a vertical line and you flip a mini mirrored C. It isn't even swiggly. Tricky, please. <laughs> you need to brush the fuck up on your calligraphy. <laughs> time, that's time. Let's go, time. Yeah. All right, who here is on Tinder? I'll admit that I'm an addict. <laughs> the way he met his girl, that story's fit to be a classic, the epitome of magic. It was on one of those herpes dating sites. And Marlo didn't even have it. Oh, isn't he romantic? <laughs> Fuck, really, nothing at all. <laughs> See, he's a rich white boy. He's got with the Polak. And there's his girl. Oh, that's perfect. He got with a Polak. <laughs> but when she's telling me, Trick, I want the Polish sausage. Don't perturb the main and lay my turn for cooking. It's her turn for cleaning. Uh. <laughs> yes, I just said she had herpes. Yes, I said she blows my dick. So yes, we all have herpes now. I guess that's what I'm going with. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think it's time I stopped the riding this chick. In all honesty, she's probably a nice little bitch. But back to you. 
You got a bone I've been dying to pick. When you battled it, you said, I like what you spit, but everyone else seems to describe you as shit, and I'm just having a really hard time fitting in. Yeah, those rhymes would be sick. If the line had been his. Too bad it completely stole it from a classic TV show. Just take it back to season four, episode so 10, 14 minutes, five seconds in. That's where you'll find it, my friends. But to show you, that's right. I just said it, it was friends. <laughs> you know, you want to keep on taking jokes from my favorite show? So you might just break down your door. Think I'll be no one there for you when this rain starts to pour. <laughs> Joe, we trip beyond E if he think P won't move trays, cause it. VB from with me, it'll be a buffet. And if your lady want more than 50 shades of gray, she'll have to paint me more green. I'll let your bitch channel herself, cause you can't make her go bing. <laughs> go on, tell your gallant man lost to the trickster. You gotta admit, that was some raw shit, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna feel tricked, scared of wordplay, not even a little bit. I go from zero to a hundred bullets real quick. Killed it. <laughs> <laughs> you and that hip hop head, you know some club tracks the best. You know how I know? Gave his punk ass a test. They said, hey Marlo, what do you think of Funk Master Flex? He said, a Funk Master Flex? She's the running machine, man. I don't know what that one is. <laughs> he said, he's not a machine, he's a rapper. Legend of the game. From now on, Marla, you remember his name. Thought I'd give him another shot. I said, but what about Master Ace? He said, the Master Race. <laughs> well, we're brilliant, obviously, but I'm told totally you're talking about rappers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Understand why you don't make music. You don't have to make excuses. Just imagine him and Shuffle trying to do trap, and it'd just be stupid. They'd be like, hey, <laughs> hate to bust your bubble. But we only want to fuck it for the snuggles. Hey, get the pussy bubble. But we only want to fuck it for the cuddles. Shuffle's bad enough, and you're as soft as it gets. You ever love someone so much that when you touch, you just get caught in the midst of the bliss and feel time stop as you get lost in the kiss? Your two bodies exist as one, forever locked at the lips. The moment I just described, you were softer than it. You should do what I did. <laughs> Work in the woods, become a man, fucking toughen up your hands, give your lungs another chance, get a voice like mine. But you wouldn't understand, it's a cut above, you're looking funny, cookie cutter jam. Don't push my buttons, fam. I will foos roll die you right into the fucking stands. You like when I talk like that? All deep, right? It's sweet. Makes you seem kind of weak. If you see my physique, I've been going to the gym like three times a week. It's Trick Stevens, baby. You don't know this man. Check the shoulder span. Imposing figure, figure. How much bigger did I grow? But you can figure out the figure when I throw this hand. That's the flow they've been asking for. But wait, let me speed it up faster, though. Cause whatever you've been doing ain't rapping, yo. I'm not a rapper, no, but I'm an actor, though. Seen you acting, no, you know the cat, yo. It's the Matt McConaughey, hey, come back approach. Cause I have to show this new Jack the Ropes. That'll beat his fucking chest to be an alpha wolf. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> Do it with me now. Mm, 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 mm. I'm feeling tricky now. Mm. <laughs> Mm, okay, let me kill it now. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna rip it down. Say the new style is my old style. You can say it, but saving it for a long while. Going wild, cause you can't catch the thrills. Without a little flavor in your daddy max skills for real. What you feel? A vanilla in no march. Heavy upper hand with your bro, dealing your cards. So still in charge. Mo, hill of bars. Float, float, till you float. A little barge. Like King Kong in the bottom of the If I stay for rigor mortis, man, I go real hard. <laughs> Go monster mode, last round spazz out that old lock and load. This third is raining like a hurricane, no. Predict it all you want, but it don't stop the flow. Oh, y'all saw how the snow was falling down in the city. I guess the flow so cold, I brought Canada with me. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Need a 
soulmate. He goes on Skype and speaks to Cole J. I sleep the whole day with me with Rose. Punch to the chest, believe her oh shape. You bun weed to Coldplay and you cry to Brian Adams. His mum always comments on my rhyming challenge.